Oh, that's good. Right, so as I said, pricey, 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 pricey. No good. No, we, we, no. we need a plan B. So that's when I took it upon myself because it was on special offer at Asda. I think it was like three boxes for twenty three quid. And sometimes it is now, but it's always like uh, Stella and Carlin and Foster's and sometimes it was Brewdog Stout for the week. But when I looked again, it, it tastes just like Guinness Draft. That Black Heart Stout. Three boxes for 23 quid, I thought, you can't, you can't beat that. It, it, it tastes not too dissimilar from Guinness. You're getting 30 cans for 23 quid. When I looked again, it wasn't on offer anymore. So then I tried. I got a box of each. I got a box of Session IPA and a Session of Hobgoblin Gold. Which also Morrison stock. The Session IPA, which is the same percentage as Ruddle's Best Country Ale, 3.4%, was too citrusy, too, too tarty. Um, when I tried it the second day, I kind of got used to it, but for me, it, it wasn't a Hodge flesh ale. So I tried Hobgoblin Gold. That was smoother. Nicer, but for me it didn't qualify as a Hodge Ale. So when I was um, checking all around the supermarkets what offers, what ale they had, I checked Morrison's and I did have the Morrison's more up on my phone. And there was this Ruddles Best Country Ale. Now we had that Ruddles in, in the green can, aren't we? Yeah. That's lovely. I had um, neck oil, which is that lilt, alcoholic lilt. That was quite nice. There's quite a few of them, aren't they? Uh, especially uh, them funny designs and all that. Yeah. I haven't right. tried it. Neck oil's not bad. Pricey is about £7 for, for about four cans. Yeah, there's quite a few of them, though. It it's nice. So I, I, I thought, well, it's not the same as that Ruddles in Green can. So I think I did a test video. Um, is what I got back. Obviously, I was due to take care to that place. We won't mention it. And I thought, I've got, I've got to try. I've got to try one. And the description is very similar to Session IPA, so I wasn't very hopeful. I thought 3.4%. It would taste like washed up piss, like that Sainsbury's on Lago, or Tesco's on Bitter. It, 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 where, you know, 1.8%. Might as well get Shandy Bass, which isn't available anymore. Um, but that first soap, I'm like. Oh my god, it tastes stronger than it actually says on tin, and it doesn't taste tarty or citrusy, and I thought, so I've been getting that ever since, and it was, it was then, if you use the Morrison's Mort app, a pound off a box, it's only quite recently when it's gone back up to its regular price of 8 quid, would you think about it, it's 2 50 a box cheaper, than Slots Henry Isaac is through, on Club Card Price at Tesco. Rumble. I know Isaac's got a little bit of him as well. But, but Sainsbury's, of the I way you have to get two boxes probably, to gain any benefit, uh, is a pound dearer of the two boxes. But the strange thing is with Morrison's, is that I discovered that it wasn't advertised on the website, it was at full price. But when I went to get my first box of Ruddles Best Country Ale, I noticed that it was in a Christmassy box pattern. It was two for 21 quid. Sainsbury's was two for 22 quid. Tesco's, book cap price, 10.50. But I thought, 
and then just yeah. there's there's no justification in my mind I I mean I don't know why Asda I've stopped stocking because I I, I was questioning them on Twitter all the time I know it's called X now but I still play his Twitter Um, and and they were sometimes very slow in replying but I said what the hell's going on and Dio's right, they're a young side, they're learning. It's, it's, um, and then it's Someone got back to me and said that we are linked. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, he was. Well, yeah, that's it. Well, I clicked on it. It says unavailable. So, this is that. It says unavailable. Oh, it looks like we don't stock it anymore. Really We've got Shipyard, uh, Ale, like uh, uh, Obgoblin Goal, Session IPA, I think it's Austell Brewery. Then we've got um, St. Austell Brewery, St. Austell Proper Job, which is quite nice. And St. Austell, the one in, the, in that deep purple box, tins. Amber! That should be the same one as Sleeps, though, don't you? Like Abbott Ale, or is that the price? Um, Ipswich. Um, I'll have a look in a minute because that's the same as his own now, isn't it? Because I'll tell you what, you know what was this? Ruddles. Mm. The Sick Green King. The same people who own the breweries now of Moreland, Old Speckled Hen. And obviously, Abbott's is Green King's own ale. So the same brewery owns Ruddles as well, but apparently it's not. To me, it tastes like an old fashioned ale. There's a gap of 53 league places between these sites, and Wimbledon were further disadvantaged when Harry Pell. I don't like the Wimbledon's new stadium. It's like it's been it's like it's been built in in the development around it. The shops and offices and everything around it. So I suppose it's part of the agreement, eh? Yeah, it will yeah, we'll build it. You can build a stadium, but it's got a part. Yeah, they they can't expand at all. So if one more pause, they'll have to leave. What's you know, capacity like? It's only about four. I think about about six thousand. Yeah, well, if if they do get promotion, they'll get more pause, then they'll have to move. Maybe maybe it's not their stadium. Maybe it's part of the development, and they're renting it off them. Yeah, but at least you don't have to play play a different ground. The ground share, but it's got round ground, isn't it? Now, finally. We call it we call it the, we call it the new power lane because it's a development thing. Mm. 